the river was almost non-existent. Nobody even cared about the river. She, she was dying. That's the that's the phrase I should say. She was dying out. In 1968, they completed the causeway and closed the gate structure, and it was just like black and white. It went from a r river full of fish to a river with no fish. Basically, the causeway is a dam. We have down here the highest tide in the world. Uh, it comes up 40 feet. Like, when that tide comes in, it takes six hours to fill up the uh, Pitagodet River. We used to have a salmon run up here to uh, more than 10,000 salmon was coming up the uh, Pitagodet River and uh, when they built the causeway, it was uh, murder for the salmon run. I wanted the river back. I got the fisheries to, to reinstall a trap, and then I ran that trap myself on a volunteer basis three to four times a day for 20 years. And this was the only way to get the proof we needed. Nothing was coming through the trap in the causeway, so we knew there were no fish. Oh, there was lots of times when I say, they're not listening. And there was lots of times and I could say, well, you know, why am I doing this? This is ridiculous. But then I go up river for a drive. I'd remember. I was there when they opened the gates and uh, my heart uh, came, I almost uh, lost it. Uh, tears came to my eyes. Uh, it made me uh, so happy that day. But since they opened those gates, uh, since April the 17th, there's more current in the river. And uh, shad was coming up the river this, uh, in June. I caught more shad in June in one time that I caught all summer last year. She come back to life. The Pedagogic River, uh, she's, uh, she's living now. The tide was allowed to flow all the way to Salisbury. We've seen the gas broke come back in numbers we couldn't possibly imagine. We've seen sturgeon come back, and this year the sturgeon in the river are unbelievable. You know, I had no idea that nature's recuperative abilities would come anywhere close to that. We have special plans for the five gates down at the causeway. We're going to stick them in the mud on the end and have our own sewn hedge right below the causeway so that people in the future will remember, don't do this. Not a good plan.